Hey, welcome back to the Secret Underground Lair. So I have the second door for our second Julia table set up here in the arcs, ready to make some cuts. But there were some voids that I wanted to take care of uh, before I, I surfaced and then uh, beaded this. So I've used some epoxy, actually it's crazy glue, um, CA glue, to fill in a couple voids here that were kind of deep resin pits and a little bit of wood filler in a, in a void there. So I'm just going to let that set up and turn my attention for the moment to sanding off these <clears throat> top and bottom of the table. That's what we'll be doing today. So I have the anaconda set up here to capture any, or at least some of the dust that gets blown off. My little rigid sander will capture a bunch here. And we're using 80 grit just to kind of give this a quick evening up of the surface. All right, that takes care of our top and bottom of the table. So we got those pieces nicely sanded up and uh, retaining some of the beetle marks, which is kind of always the, des the desired effect we're going for with these pieces. Uh, next up, we'll do the, uh, do the second door. So before cutting the beads, I just did a quick sand <clears throat> to remove any of the uh, router marks from the planing operation that we did. Now ready to cut the beads, I have the bit, the beading bit uh, put in place. So we're, we're ready to go. I'm gonna start at this end and work forward. And the beading on our second door is now complete. I changed tactics just a little bit as I was doing this piece. And rather than making three passes, I changed to just do a single pass, moving slowly. Um, but it made uh, the process significantly faster as I didn't even have to turn the router off, moving it along from position to position. So happy with that. We'll do a little bit of sanding to clean out the grooves and then uh, move on to assembling the legs onto the table. So here is a very loosely assembled uh, Julia table, version two. Got our tapered legs. And we're coming up to uh, made the cutouts here for the legs in the bottom shelf. So I've got a cutout here, cutout here, and a cutout, of course, over there for that leg. Just have this leg kind of loosely positioned. A small machine is square in place just to keep this leg from flipping up, just to get a look for it. And I'm happy with how that's coming together. So the next step here is going to be drilling the little dowel pins in the leg and the hole for it in the top for each of the legs. So one here, of course, the center leg and one for the far leg over there. Always a little nerve wracking because you want to make sure you get that right, but that's where we're at. That's the next step, so we'll get on with it. Brief interruption to the Julia table build while we watch the solar eclipse. So I have the uh, dowels now mounted in the legs. I'm sorry I didn't uh, film the process of doing that. I should have, but you can see through that little gap, there is a dowel in that leg. So all three legs are now kind of dry fitted with dowels. I could actually glue them together, but what I'm gonna do now before anything else is sand it down to 220 all the surfaces down to 220 uh, and then I can assemble. So I've gone over all of the pieces here, the top, bottom and back with uh, 80, 120, 180 and just doing a final coat now or final approach now with uh, 220 grit.
Okay, that's our sanding done. Uh, now I need to do the legs and I'm gonna have to do those by hand. So I'll bring them over and get started on those. All right, all our pieces are sanded uh, up to 220 grit. So <clears throat> we're going to assemble now. We're gonna start with uh, the legs, attaching the uh, rear legs onto the top. We're gonna to try and attach the top leg and place the bottom part of the cabinet just in here to keep the top leg in position. Uh, then we have a little bit of uh, fine adjustment to do to make sure things are exactly where they need to be. Uh, before we put the bottom and the back on. So I lost the audio on this part. In fact, not only the audio, but I had trouble with the camera, so I wasn't recording the cutting. But this is the piece that I'm going to use to cut the banding that'll go on the front of the table. So I'm just setting up the table saw now to make a one eighth inch strip cuts off that piece. And I'll do a successive cuts, moving the fence over one at a time until I get one eighth strips, all the strips that I need for that. Okay. So this is the little uh, tray that you saw me assemble. I lost some of the uh, video, so I'm reshooting this a little bit. So I have the conduit, and I cut the conduit, just this little three inch section, then cut it in half, made a little leg, and CA glued it in place, and that's well, as you can see, holding water. So I have the little pieces for our facing. They're now, they've been soaking in here for the day. And I uh, also wanted to point out that I have a couple little clamps here and some little bits of oak holding it down. So thanks, John. John gave me these clamps, gave me a whole bunch of them. And a bunch of strips of oak came out of an old church pew, among other things, to hold hymn books. And the conduit from Brendan. Thanks, Brendan. So have some friends here helping out in the shop. I really appreciate it. But that's that's the little tray. Another useful tool that we'll keep in the shop. Come in handy when we're bending wood. So this will get bent up in our next video. All right, got the top uh, glued in place. Just gonna pick up some of the excess glue with a wet cloth. 
overall I'm pleased with that. <coughs> but I do want to get a support back in place on the uh, leg here. <coughs> Okay, give that a chance to set up and then uh, we can get these legs uh, affixed to the back and uh, get uh, the bottom put in place. Making progress. So the back is setting up to dry and over here I've got the banding soaking That'll be ready for bending in a little while. <clears throat> so I'm going to call that a video for today. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, the solar eclipse happened to be in part of the country where we were in the total eclipse uh, and the totality, and we had clear blue skies. It was spectacular. Anyway, thanks so much for watching again. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.